So in this video, we're going to take a look at a better way of using these best response polytopes to find Nash equilibria. So what we've seen previously is defining the best response polytopes, looking at them, and then considering all pairs of vertices and checking whether or not they're fully labeled. But there's an algorithm called the Lemke-Hausen algorithm that gives us a way of essentially walking around the polytope in a sensible way to find these uh, pairs of a fully labeled uh, vertices. So um, I'm not going to start completely from scratch. I'm, I'm going to jump ahead a few things. If anything is unclear at the beginning here, go back to a previous um, section of the course. We're going to use this version of the modified matching pennies game where we've just added two to all, all the utilities. And what I'm just going to get for, for free, so to speak, is I'm going to I'm going to build up these best response polytopes. So for for the row player, their their best response polytope has the following vertices. A has coordinate zero zero and has labels zero one. B has coordinates a third zero and has labels um let me get my brackets correct and has labels one three. We then had C which had labels a quarter sorry vertices coordinates pardon me a quarter a quarter and labels two thirds and D was zero a third with labels zero two and we then had Q which had W equals zero zero essentially the same vertices because of the symmetry in the payoff matrices just with different labels. One third zero, zero three. Y one quarter, one quarter, zero one, and Z equals zero third, one two. Now again, th this is this isn't just immediate from from this. You need to do a little bit of work, but I'm I'm skipping that for now, and I'm just going to use these polytopes, but. Uh, if that's unclear how this turns up, then go go see that from from a previous section um, of the course. So once uh, once we have that, we can draw our our polytopes. And so we have um, P down here looks something like this, where we've got A, B, C, and D, and the uh, the labels 0, 1, 3, and 2, and then we've got Q here. W, X, Y, and Z, and labels 1, 0, 2, and 3. So this, this is just me drawing the information we have up here, but again, this, this is the the stuff that comes from before. So um, the way the Lemke-Hausen algorithm works is it starts at what we call an artificial equilibria. So the vertices A and W both have coordinates 0, 0. So they don't actually correspond to a mixed strategy, because even if we normalize them, they'd still be 0 and 0. So uh, we, we start there, and we, we go, OK, let's take a w and we'll, we'll jot down the complete set of labels we have at this point so the complete set of labels we have at this point is 0 1 2 and 3 and now at this stage we make an arbitrary choice to drop any one of these labels so we're going to drop 0 and um, we drop 0 so drop 0 we look at our polytopes and we have to identify from which of the polytopes are we dropping it well, we can see that 0 is, is here. Out of A and W, 0 is here. So we're dropping it um, from P. And so in P, by dropping that label, we're essentially going to move where we currently are. So we're currently at A, but for us to drop 0, we need to move to B. OK? And by, drop, by moving to B, we pick up a new label. So we already had 1. That hasn't changed. But we pick up a new label, which is 3. So we pick up 3. And now our pairs are B and W. 
the full set of uh, labels we have is one, two, and three. But three we essentially have in two places, right? We have there and there. So we need to drop three. And essentially we're gonna drop the one we've just picked up. So we drop three, but we're gonna drop it from the other polytope. So our previous drop was from P, so now we're gonna drop from Q, so from Q. And if we look here, dropping uh, three means moving to Z. And so we pick up one. And now we are at um, the pair B, Z. Our full, our full label set is still one, two, three. And we've picked up one. So one is the one we have twice. We have it for B and we have it for Z. So we're gonna drop one. We're going to drop it from P this time. And if we drop it from P, we're going to move from B to C, which means that we pick up two. And so now we, we have the label, uh, the, the vertex pair um, C, Z with label set one, two and three and we carry on so we picked up two so we need to drop two we're going to drop two from q this time and when we drop two from q we go from here to here and so we pick up zero and so now we're at c and y and this however has Label set 0, 1, 2, and 3. And this is where the algorithm finishes because we have a full, uh, fully labeled vertex pair. And so that's the algorithm. You start with the artificial equilibrium. You choose any label to drop and um, you will pick up a new label by doing so. And you then remove that new label in the other polytope. And you keep on removing the new label in the other polytope until you have a fully vertex a fully labeled um, vertex pair. Now CY has coordinates um, a quarter, a quarter. So we normalize that to get our equilibrium would be a half, a half, simply taking a quarter, a quarter and changing it into a probability. And so that would be our Nash equilibrium using this algorithm when we drop zero. Now, just as a, as a quick example, we'll, we'll just do this again, but dropping a different uh, initial label. So we're gonna start off with, uh, let me give myself enough space. We're gonna start off with a W in the exact same way, so which has zero, one, two, and three. And let's say we drop three. Drop three. Three is in Q. So um, I'll just write Q here. And so when we drop three, we pick up one. Um, so now we have the pair A, Z, and you can, you can see where this is gonna go with label zero, one, and two. We have to drop one. So we drop one from P, and when we drop one, from P, we pick up two, because now we've moved to D. So now we have the pair D, Z, which has labels, again, zero, one, and two. And so now we have to drop two from Q. And when we do that, looking at uh, the diagram, we pick up zero, because we moved to Y. So now we're at DY which also has zero, one, and two. And so now we're gonna drop two from P. And when we do that, we're gonna pick three back up and which leads us to CY and zero, one, two, and three as a fully ver a labeled vertex pair. And we finish. And we get the same equilibria doing this. And that's the Lemke-Hausen algorithm. Now, I started off this section by saying 
the problem with doing a full a full enumeration of all vertices of all vertex pairs is that you have to draw your polytope you have to identify the vertices you have to do a little bit of work and then once you've got the work it's actually relatively straightforward what we're going to see next is how we can do the lemke hausen algorithm purely algebraically without having to draw the polytopes at any step